Yo, what is up guys? This is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm going to be showing you the unofficial Lineage OS build which is the 22nd May 2019 build. Let me just show you the about phone over here. If I go into the Android version as you can see the date and stuff over here. Android version still shows as 9 Pi of course and 16.0 Lineage OS version and you can see the build date. The security patch level is latest May 5th 2019. And here is the baseband and stock kernel is the Dynatic kernel and this is how it is and if you go into the like build number and tap on it seven times you can enable developer option and from that developer option of course you have the advanced reboot and stuff like that over here and if you see the updater we have the system updater over here even though this is an unofficial build and let me just go back we have the buttons option and you can change the layouts of these buttons to like invert layout or something like that that is why the back button is to the right side over here and long press for torch is working fine with the power button and we have the power menu and stuff over here home double tap and recents option is there if you're using the normal three button layout over here of android and if you go into the status bar we have the quick pull down option you can choose it to be right or left and as well we have the clock position changing option am pm style brightness slider and even brightness control is there so you can control the brightness by just sliding a finger over the like status bar as you can see from here i can adjust the brightness by just doing this so this is pretty cool and let me just go into the settings and show you the display settings over here yes we do have the double tap to sleep as you can see we have the tap to wake and tap to sleep so double tap to sleep is there you can disable the wake up on plug if you want to ambient display is working fine and over here we have the like normal rotation settings and stuff and from style you can choose the like system ui theme style to light dark or automatic and from here you can change the accent colors to like blueberry or something as you can see it changed the color well there are some things which i do not like over here like there is no vaulty icon over here so pretty much that's how it is and inside live display you can change the color profile of the whole like screen and you can change the display mode to like night day or change it to off and you can change the color temperature too if you are like using it in a like display mode as you can see you can change the kelvin of the display so that is pretty cool and color calibration you can do it for the rgb of the screen and you can change the hue saturation intensity and contrast of the screen and one more thing that I want to talk about is the auto brightness over here. Yes, it is like working fine. But the thing is the auto brightness is just sometimes too much. And sometimes it just like goes really low. So that is how it is. So I just mostly use it as disabled. And one more bug that is present in this ROM that will really annoy you if you're flashing it. And I won't recommend it like you flashing this ROM right now. And if you really want to flash this ROM, here is how you can flash this ROM over here on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Yes, this is totally a different method of like flashing ROMs from now on. So do like check that video out. I'll recommend you watching that video before flashing this ROM. And well, the charging, the like if even if you plug in like overnight, you will see that your device will be charged up to 88 or 87 percent. So that is a really annoying thing. It doesn't charge up to 100 percent with this kernel or something i don't know but it does not go up like above 80 percent whenever you are charging so make sure like keep, keep that in mind and this is the stock camera over here in this room as you can see this is how it looks like snapdragon camera is present over here and it just takes basic pictures but you can flash the like stock camera right now over here as you can see we have the MIUI camera but make sure you note know that the 48 megapixel mode does not work over here as you can see even if you take a picture let me just show you by opening it and if so here as you can see the resolution is 1920 by 1440 so it is not a 48 megapixel picture so that is not working over here normal 12 megapixel pictures are working fine even front camera and stuff is working fine too as you can see from here so no issues whatsoever and here is a fingerprint scanner speed So as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is not bad at all it is pretty fast and even face unlock and stuff does work over here and by the way if you want to flash this camera let me just show you which zip you need let me just go over here this is the file name over here pretty weird anx camera unity 90 and i'll leave this link of this like zip file in the description box below just flash it with tdrp and reboot it will be like in the rom and the camera app will appear in the rom and let me just open some of the apps and show you guys the app of speeds and the ram management over here let's open facebook and twitter play store 
YouTube and Instagram. So now let's open all the apps from memory again. So as you can see all the apps are in memory so no issues whatsoever this is just loading because I'm not connected to my Wi-Fi. My Wi-Fi is not working really right now. So as you can see all the apps are in memory and by the way I'm using a, using the POCO launcher over here and it does work fine too and you can use the default launcher too if you want to. The Trebuchet launcher is the default launcher over here and Google Pay does not work over here by default but you can get it to work like by disabling the phone and SMS app permission from Google Play services. But otherwise Google Pay by default out of the box does not work it won't let you set up it will just say that your device is rooted over here and you can install google camera too if you want the like any google camera zip i'll link it below you can install it because the camera to api is still present over here by default in this rom otherwise the rom is fast here is the Andrew code the call of duty and stuff everything works over here even pubg gaming is fine you can play on hd and like ultra settings i think so that is pretty much it and the audio effects is there as you can see you can change the audio effects if you want to like tweak the sound but the sound output via the headphone jack over here in this rom is pretty amazing it is really flat and i like the sound quality over here not gonna lie and like i miss one thing that there is no three finger screenshot gesture so that is a bummer but yeah it is not present over here and you can disable the touch sounds and stuff but there is no me audio direct or something because we have the audio fx over here and sound output via the headphone jack and bluetooth as well is super fine even with the bluetooth the sound output is great and if you're talking about vault e calls yes vault e calls does work super fine and even like call recording option and video calling option too are there so you don't need to worry so that was pretty much it for this video guys thank you so much for watching this video give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is Tiro from KDNDX signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one bye bye now